What's up you guys? So I've gotten a couple of questions recently about how I manage uh, using Bluetooth with my headphones and with a few other devices. It's actually pretty easy. Um, the biggest issue with doing it from a window manager is that often using uh, Bluetooth CTL or other command line tools and I kind of prefer to try and make things a bit quicker. I'd rather not try and do everything by hand. And you can try and automate it, but the issue with automating it is that you can have it basically auto detect when something's nearby and then set it up for you. But I prefer not to do that because I don't need Bluetooth running all the time if I'm not connecting it to any devices. So I'm just gonna walk through my setup for this. So the first thing that I wanna show off is what I usually install. So I install uh, Blues Utils, Pulse Audio Bluetooth, Bluetooth Ulsa, and Blue Man. So those are all programs that I install. Uh, this is just my configuration for Bluetooth. I actually don't think I have anything special in here anymore. Yeah, so I used to have auto enable set to true. Like I don't really feel like it's necessary because basically how this works is whenever you start up, it will turn Bluetooth on and try to auto detect at the cost of your battery life. And then also having Bluetooth running all the time is kind of a bit of a waste of resources. So instead, I just have this set to off, which I think is the default. It depends on your distribution, but that should be the default. Now going back to what else I do, I just enable the Bluetooth service and start it. And then another thing that you may want to do is just make sure your Bluetooth device isn't blocked by RF kill. Um, so if you do RF kill list, it will list all your devices and you can check and see if any of them are blocked. Right now I have nothing is blocked, but you could go ahead and check that for yourself. And then if there is, you just do unblock and then the device. So pretty simple for that part. Um, the general installation is actually pretty simple. The rest of it's a bit complicated. So now the big reason that I installed all this extra stuff, um, especially the audio stuff, is mostly just to make sure that I can actually use my headphones. You may need to install extra codecs, but as far as I remember, I think all the codecs that you'd usually use come installed already if you install all of this sort of stuff. Another thing that I like to do is actually try and automate this. So I have a script. Here's just kind of a demo of how it would work. So I hit this and it gives me an option of network or Bluetooth. I can select Bluetooth and it gives me the option to connect, set up a new device, manage or disable. So disable will disable my Bluetooth functionality, which may seem a bit silly, but it can be useful if it's already running and I just wanna cut it all off and stop it. So what I do is I can do manage and this will just list everything that's connected or has been connected and paired. And that is using uh, Blue Man, which is why I installed it. And then on top of that, I can do New, and it will give me all these prompts. Um, they're pretty self-explanatory. It'll list all my devices. It'll set up my devices for me. Um, that one's pretty intuitive. And then if you actually do Connect, it will uh, list all the devices that, just because I did New, it's a bit weird, but usually it would only say my phone and my headphones because those are the things that have been trusted and paired. And so then when I just hit Enter, it will attempt to connect. And my Bluetooth headphones are off, but if they were not off, it would automatically connect with them. Additionally, I also like to connect my phone. There we go. So this is what it would normally look like. And if I connect my phone, I can actually route my audio through my computer so I can get extra control through my computer on my audio. It might seem a bit silly, but it's kind of convenient, especially if your headphones don't support multiple Bluetooth sources. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at my actual setup. So this is my Bluetooth connection manager script. Um, it basically checks and checks out the network and Bluetooth and everything like that. And then it basically checks and sees if I want to change anything network related, which would be my Wi-Fi. Um, that prompt is pretty simple. It just gives me a bunch of options that I can connect or disconnect from. And then if I select Bluetooth, it gives me all those prompts. And so here's what the Bluetooth stuff does. So under the hood, you'll see that it gives me options, allows me to connect. And so when I do connect, I actually use a program called BT Menu. Um, it's in the Arch repositories or uh, AUR, sorry. I highly recommend it. It's basically just a D menu script that allows you to control Bluetooth, um, similar to how it works with uh, Bluetooth CTL from the command line. You could actually probably replace this and do it yourself, but I just find it convenient and it's in the repository, so why re-implement it myself? And then Bluetooth Assistant or uh, Blue Man Assistant actually comes from Blue Man. So does this uh, Blue Man Manager. And so basically, I'm getting most of this from there. And then finally, it will actually kill the Blue Man applet. If you need to use Blue Man Manager, you need to have the applet running. And then I just kill it at the end. And then otherwise, if it's networking, then it uses the Network Manager D menu 
um, script, which is also in the UR that you guys can check out. So it's a pretty simple setup just to give you guys a general idea of what I like to do and how I have my Bluetooth setup going. If you guys have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Hit me up in the comments. Uh, like if you guys enjoyed this, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you guys get notified of my next video and feel free to hit me up with some more questions. I am happy to help you guys with any issues that you guys are running into. I just got this one a few times, so I figured it might be worth filming the video. Anyways, see you guys next time.